Hi folks, this is John back at Party Works. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a couple of wine decanters. Uh, they're just like a long, tall teapot. Put your wine in. Uh, what's nice if you like your wine cold, uh, stick it in the freezer for a couple hours ahead of time. The, um, once the pot gets cold, it stays cold for quite a while. Pour your wine in it and stick it on the table. All you wine drinkers. I'm just going to start by throwing a cylinder. I've got uh, six pounds of clay here. I've got another three or four pound wedge off to the side for doing the spout. Um, some of these I do without handles. Some of them I do with handles. It really depends upon the shape of the pot. This one here I'm going to do a, a wide base. Got that worked. Pinch the sides. Pull up. Here I'm compressing the rim, pushing down. I think I just get rid of it. Again, pissing your rib or rim. Sorry. to keep some extra rim room. Makes it easier when you're trying to pull it together. We'll give her one more pull. To watch this top, we've got a little bit of a twist in it. Thank you. 
pin tool, even this up. Put a bead on the foot. We do want this to sit flat. Trying to remove all the slip on the outside. A smooth surface. Slight undercut. Push that in a little bit more on the bottom, just not happy with that flare out. That's This would be a great shape for uh, for doing a wood fire. Nice place for the ash to run, or if you want to use a uh, a nice dipping glaze over top to make the glaze run, you got a stopping point for it down here at the foot. Kind of smooth off. Okay. Pretty happy with that shape. Flare this neck out just a hair. Okay, now all I'm going to do is to throw a spout. Uh, now, because of the size of this one, we're going to have to put a handle on it. And then we'll throw the stopper. And let me get set up for the rest of the video, and we'll be right back. 